So excited to talk with you both um, and congrats on the new season of the show. Can you tease what fans are going to get to see this season with you and all the girls? So this season, you'll get to experience uh, quite a new different season. Um, one, we've been, you I mean, there's quarantine with 2020 was wonderful, you know, but um, the girls have just so much personality and character um, that I feel like the fans are just going to laugh so much through this season. Um, we uh, have a couple little trips of like getting away from yeah, like um, unconventional getaways that yep. we don't normally kind of do. We did a stressful kitchen remodel all um, at the same time. They yeah. start, the kids start school. An RV trip. RV trip. We try to take a, just a different type of vacation where we can kind of like stay away from people, but also just get out of this house because for one thing, we were going through a kitchen remodel and we kind of had to. It was like a time in the in the remodel where like literally they were taking out the staircase. And so there was no way that the kids could get to their room. So we're like, we have to be at the house. And so, um, you know, we were just trying to figure out how we could, you know, in the midst of the pandemic. And so we took an RV trip. And so that was interesting because that was something we've never done before. And I was going to ask, how is parenting so many children during the pandemic? How has that been like for you? I know it must be pretty hectic. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, we've definitely had our moments for sure. <laughs> um, you know, our girls love to stay active so much and like entertained. And so we really had to get creative on how do we do that with not being able to go anywhere, um, you know, at some point in the quarantine where we're just stuck in the house and in our premises. So just trying to come up with lots of ideas on one activity after the other, mm -hmm. um, keeping communication strong between us because <laughs> we're the, the adults in the house that have to keep everything going. But, um, you know, I mean, we made it through it. We, when we were finally able to, you know, go on this RV trip and kind of break away just to get out of our house, like it was such a, a lifesaver. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a change, it's a good change of pace. It's a good change of pace, yeah. And I yeah. saw in the season's trailer that the Quints are going to be entering kindergarten. What was it like for you? What is it like for you seeing them grow up and having all these big milestones in their life documented so that you can go back and look at it throughout the years? I mean, that's, that's one of the values of being able to capture our life like this is that, you know, every little moment in milestone, we get to watch whenever we want to. Right. And so, um, this was a big one. Them start the Quint start kindergarten, Blake started fourth grade. And, um, it was a kind of a downer year to kind of have such a big milestone because they didn't get to and specifically for the Quints, like it was, you know, COVID yeah. kindergarten. So they yeah. didn't really get like this grand, exciting, you're going to start big girl school and but also even like their preschool graduation preschool graduation kind of. i mean so just so many like little things got canceled or changed or um so it was just an interesting kind of aspect and so it kind of put a damper but also made it also easier for me as mom you know that moment of like where you drop your kids off at school for the first time and you're like bye and it's emotional and i didn't really get that this year because it was just <laughs> Like we're yeah, in kindergarten. For, for Blake, you know, we were able to actually like go into her school and, and bring her to her class, you know, whenever she started kindergarten and go all the way to her chair meet and meet the, the teacher. teacher and, and this time around, like, you know, we have five of them. And so obviously it's like more traumatic for us. And then you get to their school and literally you have to just drop them off at the horseshoe and wave at them because like we're not allowed to go in because of like all the new yes. guidelines and rules and stuff like that just for keeping everybody safe. And so you know, it was, it was tough, but almost it was, really a blessing. it was a us. blessing <laughs> because, you know, it wasn't that hard or emotional or whatever. It's just, this is what we have to do now. And I, speaking of Blake, Blake is growing up so fast. I've seen that both of you have been posting about her love of basketball and now volleyball and sports. How's it for you seeing her trying out new sports and growing up so quickly? I, I feel like this is like the funnest time yet because I mean, getting involved in sports um, I just told like the other day, like, I love, I was like, this is so fun. She's like, why? I was like, cause we get to go watch you play. And like, I mean, it's our first sports type of activity of, you know, last year when she tried volleyball quarantine and COVID shut down everything. And so we never got to play a game or see a tournament. And so basketball season, um, what'd you feel about basketball season? It was fun. 
Yeah, she enjoyed basketball season, and then we went straight into volleyball right after that. So um, it's fun seeing her grow up and get, you know, to try new sports and things that she wants to have interest in. And we're also approaching that with the Quints as well, is finding their love of activity. And it's been quite the uh, <laughs> schedule. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to figure out that schedule of getting six kids to different places. But, you know, new space for us. And I saw in the preview for the season that you, we're going to be learning more about your health and possible surgery. Danielle, how are you doing now? Um, I, I would say it's just kind of like a roller coaster of uh, physical pains and differences and struggles and emotional. Um, it's, we're not getting closer to any form of answers, but being able to outweigh um, a lot of, you know, things that we don't want. Um, but I still have my same struggles of numbness and lots of pain and chest pain and uh, inflammation and um, just lots of migraines and headaches and just a lot of random things that um, it's hard to put a pin on what exactly is the problem. And so, you know, we're kind of on the routes of looking at just different autoimmune diseases. Um, but with that, nothing is ever just identified kind of pretty quick in this case of mine. And so um, we're just in and out of doctors and trying to figure out what's going on. And kind of going off of that, I saw that you posted about being in, in the hospital recently. Fans were quick to flood the comments with prayers and messages of support for you and the family. What does it feel like reading those types of reactions and positive messages for you and your health? I mean, I think that is why I will choose to share it is to have that form of support for prayers because I believe in the power of prayer and um, that is just so encouraging. It's very hard to be open and be vulnerable of a struggle and like something that you don't know how to explain or um, say this is what's wrong with me. Um, so just having to be vague is hard because I don't have an answer. but having the support of so many prayers, um, I, I've, and I've shared this, that like, I really do feel, feel those prayers. And I feel like it's been a blessing to have so many more people just pray for us and um, taking that step out of, you know, me being vulnerable and trying to share enough um, of whatever I can. Um, it's, it's been hard, but having the prayers, it's definitely a huge blessing. Yeah. 